being hungry and waiting for your food delivery to arrive can be excruciating. But Average Drone Sandrian Berhad, in collaboration with Futurize, is hoping to cut that waiting time using drones. The whole idea is not on the services actually, the whole idea is on the solution. We try to solve all this uh, slow of, slow of you know, food ordering because we ourselves also sometimes order you know, from Grab, you know, food panda, sometimes took them almost like 45 minutes an hour. So we try to eliminate this, we try to reduce the, the speed of delivery. The flow of this uh, project uh, is basically looking at selected customers. Not everyone, unfortunately, can order from the food delivery service and then from selected vendors as well. So uh, that we have to determine what kind of food that can be delivered uh, that is still within the limit of 800 grams. So this is the first phase for three months. So after three months, uh, and then if, if we find it, then it's okay it's good and it's viable, then we're going to open it to selected public, means residents of Sabajaya. We're going to open up to, uh, it's by invitation only. So once after that, the second phase uh, we're done, that means and then we find it it's still is good, viable, and the, the acceptance of uh, the residents of Sabajaya said it's good, it can be continued, then we're going to open fully to the public. The delivery service will take a total of 12 minutes once the order is placed. The food will then be dispatched within a 2 km distance from the Futurized building for a delivery fee of 2 ringgit 50 cents. For the time being, only solid type foods such as noodles, rice, burgers, sandwiches, kueh and fruits will be delivered. The process of uh, ordering for now is uh, through phone calls to the cafe. If somebody will call the cafe or the kitchen to, uh, to order food, so the cafe guys will send the food to us. We uh, put the food in our drone and we set the waypoint to the address and we fly the drone. It will be an autonomous drone with established waypoints. When I say waypoints, it's basically uh, checkpoints, much like how airplanes would work. So it's a predefined GPS locations where the drones would go from point A to B, B to C, D, and so on and so forth. We still would have a human uh, behind the, the steering wheel to actually take care of the and, and intervene uh, if necessary. Say for example, I order something and somebody intercepts that order and, and put something else in there and it's delivered to your balcony. So what we do is that delivery will happen for now uh, at the security. So then the, uh, the security building reception or whatever it is will receive that and actually put it in a proper box or you can have uh, the actual receiver waiting with you. There are some questions that are actually raised by, uh, the, from the public. How about the quality of the food? Food quality will be maintained because uh, the food compartment is actually sealed. So there's no contamination of air everything. Number two, the safety. Uh, it's because the compartment of the food is actually secured. So there's no way it will be dropped by itself. And of course, the drone will be equipped with a safety mechanism. Uh, I think uh, the idea is still noble right now. Uh, there's a lot of things that we want to be able to do, but at the same time, uh, we need to manage what we can do uh, uh, within this you know, three months uh, pilot and testing. So how soon Malaysians will be able to get their hands on nasi lemak and mee goreng from the sky remains an open question. So the next time you order food delivery, don't look out, but look up and say bon appetit. This is Alicia Chin from Star TV.